Well, with me is Paul Hobbs, uh, enjoying the sunshine just before we go back into a second lockdown. And we thought we'd uh, update people with uh, the news of the online auction, which we've been conducting on, on Facebook over the last several months. Um, all for, because we couldn't do it in, in person because of the first lockdown. Paul, overall, I think it was a great success and we're very grateful to everybody for taking part. Yes, it was a, an excellent resort. Um, we raised £2,500 which under the circumstances we all find ourselves in, it was a, a, a great resort. And uh, I would like to say, you know, a big thank you to everybody who, who participated, donated, um, and everybody who, who helped in any way. And uh, not least yourself, Nigel, uh, <laughs> appreciate all your, your help in, in all what you've done with me. And uh, uh, I send out my... Uh, Many thanks to everybody who who uh, contributed in in hel helping raise this uh, great total for the um, for the BRI uh, heart unit up at uh, obviously the BRI and for the charity uh, above and beyond who. Uh, who raised money for all the Bristol hospitals. Yeah, it's uh, it a fantastic cause, and the, it, it, apart from the £2,500, it's hopefully raised awareness of, of what the, all the good work that they do as well. Um, we should, let's just quickly go back on the history. Of course, originally this was to celebrate 25 years of your fantastic fundraising. Uh, there was going to be a, a big event at Ashton Gate. Unfortunately, you were then taken seriously ill, needed heart surgery. Uh, we then had lockdown one we're going to lockdown two so uh we had to cancel a second event didn't we as well so the online auction in the end um i think has, has done pretty well i think uh, that ho hopefully the charity will be extremely grateful for the money you've managed to raise i think they're delighted i have spoken to the charity representative and they're they're over the moon with this um amount of money that was raised as we said several times that uh, in in the circumstances of the situation of what we find ourselves in yes i mean uh, it's not the ideal way i would have liked to have celebrated my 25th uh, anniversary uh, not ideal by any means so it's been you know uh, one of those things and you just have to get on with it so uh, we just press on and uh, do what we can in, with uh, other events hopefully in the future we can uh, get cracking back to normal. Let's certainly hope so. So this is, uh, I described it to Paul earlier as a bit like a, a full stop at the end of a sentence, but there are a couple of items in the background that we couldn't put up for auction because they involve people going places and they're not able to do that because of lockdowns and things. So uh, possibly in the future, once things get back to normal, whatever that is, we might be able to offer those uh, for auction as well, mightn't we? Yes, they're still on hold and uh, I've been promised one or two one or two uh, items that was obviously, uh, you know, part of the uh, part of the auction originally, but because of COVID, you know, in crowds and stuff, uh, we couldn't use them. But hopefully, they will uh, re-emerge, and uh, any money raised from them, we'd, we'll we'll add uh, to the total, and be only too pleased to do so. Well, thanks very much indeed to you, Paul, once again for 25 great years of fundraising. I know nobody will ever stop you uh, trying, trying to raise money for good causes, but uh, it's been a fantastic effort. And to everybody out there, thanks for, for taking part as well. Stay safe during the, the second lockdown and we'll uh, hope to be back with you before too long. Uh, Paul, thanks very much indeed. Thank you and thanks to everybody once again.